uh, it's Tuesday morning. We uh, we're in uh, Kentucky. We loaded yesterday. Easy day yesterday. We loaded uh, we loaded another four pack, and we're headed to uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's a uh, camping world right on the. Looks like it's right on the border of uh, Tennessee and Georgia. But uh, we got down here late last night and uh, shut her down for our tent. Got up this morning, fueled up. Did our pre-trip and stuff. We're on the road. Uh, dealing with some more broker stuff this week, I guess. We... Uh, I sent over a couple car options, hauling up out of uh, out of uh, like Alabama area, um, and we got one of them right away. And the second one, I guess, even though it said pick up ASAP, wasn't going to be ready until Thursday. So kind of a kind of SOL on that one. So I was like, all right, well, we'll just look to see if we can find something else. And by the time I got done loading these campers, I got an undispatch alert. All right. Something about reasoning like the load wasn't going to be ready or something. But my dispatcher said he kind of felt like they were trying to screw with the price a little bit and get it for cheaper. Sure shit. Pull it back up on the board, and there it is. It's listed right back up on the board for $50 less. How greedy do you got to be? You had the load booked. It was off your schedule. You know, like what? You're going to cancel a load on a carrier after we've already accepted the load. You're going to cancel the load and post it right back immediately on the board. For fifty dollars less, I'm gonna get it. Money's tight, but if you don't have that, if you don't have that fifty dollars in that load, don't post it for more than what you have in it. I don't, I don't quite understand that. Why they're doing that? Um, I've been trying to get people to bite. Well, if you're not gonna pay it, you're gonna screw us around. Don't post it for that. You know, it's pretty ridiculous. But it is what it is. The uh, looks like we're gonna try to get. There was a um, there was a set of three cars going right back up to Elkhart, and possibly grab some campers out of there going up towards Minnesota. I gotta be home for a wedding this weekend, and. Uh, We'll just take them home with us, leave them, leave them on the trailer. Ugh. So, so that's a quick update, a little rant for the day. We're cruising, we got about four hours, we're going to be at the uh, delivery spot. The address they give you, is, here's another reason why you need to be looking at your, at your Google, your satellite views. The address on the bill of lading is pulling up to some warehouse set of buildings and that's not where this is. This is across the interstate and it's clear you can see that that's Camping World. I called them to verify it because the address that was pulling up on my GPS showed me that satellite view and I'm like, I've already seen, I've already seen the satellite view. I looked at it on the computer. So I know that's not it. And so I, I knew where it was. I zoomed over to it, and it's a different street name on the satellite and on the GPS. So I don't know what's going on there, but I called him to verify it, and he said, yeah, it's correct. That's where it is. So another good reason to be looking at that stuff. Um, you know, electronics can be good and they can be bad, but... That's definitely, I know exactly where we're going. So, that's 
touch base once we get there and uh, I'll get these offloaded and see what we got going back. Well, they're all unloaded. Just here waiting for him to check them in. <clears throat> it's uh, two in the afternoon. Not the best spot to drop these. This gravel, well, gravel path kind of sucks, but is what it is. We got some cars that are going up to Indiana. We're grabbing a load and we're gonna take that home with us. So, Let's see what that looks like. Cars for days here. Well, apparently there's a bunch of different lots. And uh, this one closes at 10. I got two cars to pick up in this lot. I went up to the other lot first and um, the car was not in the parking stall that it said it was in. I checked all around, I couldn't find it anywhere, so it's missing. So, you get your exercise looking for these things, that's for sure. But, uh, so we got two of them now. We had three picking up here, going to the same dealer. Now we got two. And then we got a third one going up um, to a different dealer. I talked to, as I called the dispatcher, the guy that actually, you know, gave us these loads, told him what was up. And so they had another vehicle that was going to a different dealership that I could pick up. Of course, it's picking up in the lot that I was just in. Um, Numbers are really hard to read. They show up better on camera than they do in person. We're looking for G8, 840, 842, 832, something like that. So we got a ways to go. But uh, I'm gonna keep cruising through here and find the car take some pics get over by the trailer take some pics we got to get out of this lot this lot closes by 10 so um if you've never been to these they suck there's nobody around to help it's uh it's basically talk to the other drivers some of the drivers that have been here before they uh they've been real helpful other than that there's no guards there's nothing Kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm going to go find this other one and we'll get it by the trailer. I already got one over there and then we'll get them loaded up and get over to the other lot and uh, <clears throat> get it all tied down and try to get out of here tonight. I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll try. Well, we found it. It's much easier to cruise back to the truck. It was a lot easier, but these lots are pretty dang big. Get an idea how many trucks come down through here. These guys are all loaded up. Feel sorry for these guys. I'm sure you get used to it after a while. You kind of have an idea. If you get them all together, you know where. Uh, kind of know where to park. But in new here, it's yeah, I don't even got a clue where to go. There's the other one. Let's get them loaded up. Well, there she is. We got the other one loaded. This truck stop is full. All the truck stops around here are super full. It's a heavy load. Definitely feel it on the truck, but uh, we got her. So this one and the white one go to the same dealer and then that one on the back. And 
it's that second stop one, but the uh, we'll hop in the truck here quick. So uh, the music is cranking. Truck stop. All right. So like I said, we got them. We got them two loaded. So. If you've never been to pick up cars at a factory, like I, I've never done that. And uh, I pulled into the first lot where they said it was uh, in that lot there where we picked up the last car. Um, I pulled in there, there's no attendance, there's nobody around to help you, there's nothing. There's no instructions, there's no maps, nothing. So bring some tennis shoes because you're gonna be doing some walking. So I went in to find that first one and it was, I finally found the area that it was in and all the parking stalls are like numbered and labeled. I finally found the, found the parking stall and the vehicle that was in there did not match the VIN that I was supposed to pick up. So you have to make sure you're getting the right vehicle. Um, so it wasn't there and there's nobody around to talk to there's nobody around to locate this this vehicle um i searched all the way around it um, a couple of the other aisles that you know next to it and stuff like that nowhere to be found so it is what it is i guess um i called i was getting ready to leave i called the broker because it was past hours for our office and i called the broker of course I don't answer I left a message um, tell them what was going on and went back to the truck and got ready to go and I started pulling out a lot and they called me back and because uh, I had to go get these other the other two cars were in a different lot no idea where that lot was um, I talked to one of the drivers and he mentioned that that lot um, it's called the G lot it's way off it's like half a mile away from there so you got to go way over down there to get it and uh, that lot closed by 10 o'clock so I think I think that was the only lot that, that it's like the um, E or it's the E F G H I and J are all the lots back there and um, they're all gated, they close at 10. So I had to get back there because it time, you know, we're running out of time. So I got back there, thank God I found those. You know, those were back, you can see in the other, in the, in the last part of the video there. That was those cars and those, that's just miles of cars. And um, got those out, got them back, got them on the trailer and then, um, so on my way to go back to that lot I was talking with the broker and so he swapped out he had that other third vehicle which was going um, it's going right by kind of by Gary Indiana um, kind of brain farted and spaced it out there thinking because this dispatcher and I have talked that we're bringing these cars up and then possibly grabbing a load of campers um, going up to Minnesota to um, just take them home with me for the weekend because I have a wedding to be in so got to be back for that and I kind of brain farted it and I you know and and uh, so now I'm toying with what yeah <sighs> Going with which ones to drop off first. Um, kind of thinking if you drop off the two first, I only got to pull that one car off the back. I only have to restrap one car. But then I got to drive over towards the carry and drop the one car off and then turn around and come all the way back. Um, 
it might be beneficial to go over by Gary and drop off the one car and bring the two cars over. That might be what we end up doing. If, we're, if we have a set of campers, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, this kind of got me in a sticky spot there, though, because that one car that was supposed to be in there, this is supposed to be all three cars going to the same dealership, would have been a quick wham-bam. Um, but it is what it is, so... We got out of there as fast as we could because I wanted to push through Nashville um, while it was nighttime because that place is hell to go through during the day. And um, the roads are just nasty and it's a pretty heavy load. I can I, could, I definitely notice it on the truck. And I got the airbags pumped all the way up. So um, I don't like doing three so far it's it seems like a lot of work and a lot of wear and tear um so i don't know we'll see how it goes but that'll be it for tonight we're gonna we're gonna hit hit the hay and we'll catch up with you in the morning